We've been through a period of uncontrollable spending. Uh, and in very simple words, what we have to do, and uh, it seems that the government is trying to do something in that direction, is we have to have drastic reduction in spending. I would not go and say what I would want to see is a brutal spending cut. Mm. Because th th there's a lot of fat, and we have to cut it away, more so than in other countries that face similar problems these days. So what steps should be taken then? Spending cuts. Spending cuts, spending cuts. And, and the way to do that is go every line through the budget and say, do we really need to spend this money? And in, in my opinion, we would, we would be able to immediately find, I mean, when I say immediately, within 10 days, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> identify 10 billion euros to cut. You say brutal, but we saw demonstrations and marches on the streets Wednesday, and that's only the first phase of the austerity package. Well, I'll say that I was astonished of how small the attendance was. I was not at all uh, impressed by what happened yesterday in Athens. Uh, when I used to be minister years ago, the demonstrations were 10 times as big or 15 times as big. So I'm not impressed by that. In fact, I would say I'm impressed that the, the Greek people seem to be ready to accept uh, pain. And so far you don't see any evidence that the government is backing down a little bit? Well, I, I wouldn't say it's backing down, but I don't see them moving as quickly as I would have done, as I would have wished. But it's many of the things they want to do are in the right direction. It remains to be done, however. One of the drastic cuts you would make is in the public sector, something you tried to tackle in the early 90s when you were finance minister, and now it's even bigger. It's much bigger, not just bigger, it's much, much bigger. Uh, so this is a, a lack of discipline and also a lack of, we don't like to measure things in Greece. So we, we just make decisions often on qualitative criteria without really measuring what we're doing. Uh, but uh, as I said, this is what I would try to do. Not so much also cutting wages as many people su suggest. We employ in, in, in the Greek public sector many more people than we actually need, three times as many, four times as many. It's unbelievable. Uh, and something has to be done about it. It's interesting that you talk about a standby agreement with the IMF because people outside of Greece say that's a bad idea politically. Well, people may think, okay, why can't the Europeans uh, take care of themselves? Uh, the answer is because they didn't think of it ahead of time. So they do not have a system ready to do that. Mm. I would very much welcome, as some people have suggested, if the you know, Europeans would put together a European monetary fund. So in case a country is in trouble, and there will be more countries in trouble, mm. that they may take care of it. So what's your gut feeling? What's the scenario for the next few months here in Greece? There are all sorts of opportunities in Greece. Now, you, you are now in Athens, and you've noticed what the weather is. We have 11 degrees more than London. Now, now, as we speak, you could, you could go out in Crete and swim. So a, a, any normal European, rational European, should take advantage of the situation and come to Greece for, for, for his holiday.